Hello everyone, my name is Heriberto Eri Ramirez, and today we'll be discussing case studies of successful AI-assisted research projects conducted by university students. We'll explore the project's objective, objectives, the AI techniques used, and their results and implications. Along the way, we'll provide citations for each of the case studies, so you can delve deeper into the topics if you're so interested. With that being said, in recent years, artificial intelligence, or AI, has become an essential tool in academic research across various disciplines. According to Russell and Norvig 2016, AI can assist researchers in tackling complex problems and can help uncover new insights, ultimately leading to more informed decisions and innovative solutions. Goodfellow, Bengio, and Corville 2016 emphasize the importance of real-world examples and understanding AI's potentials, as it allows us to see the practical applications and benefits of AI techniques. By examining successful case studies, such as those presented by Lee Soon, Bengio, and Hinton 2015, we can learn valuable lessons about how AI can be applied effectively in various research contexts. In the following slides, we'll delve into six different case studies exploring how university students have successfully utilized AI techniques in their research projects. Each case study will be accompanied by a citation, so you can refer to the original source for more detailed information. Thank you. And let's go ahead and get started. The first case study we'll discuss focuses on predicting student performance using machine learning techniques. This project, as described by, and this person's last name is a little tough, so I'm going to say Katsiantis, 2012, aimed to identify factors that contribute to student success and predict their future performance based on these factors. The research question sought to understand how accurately machine learning algorithms could forecast students' performance. To achieve this, the, re the researchers used various machine learning techniques, such as decision trees, the random forest, and super vector machines, and support vector machines. Sorry about that. These algorithms were trained on historical student data, which included factors like attendance, grades, and extra extracurricular activities. The researchers then compared the accuracy of these algorithms in predicting student performance. The results showed that machine learning algorithms could accurately predict student performance with some techniques performing better than others. These findings have import, important implications for educational institutions as they could potentially use AI to identify students who may need additional support or resources to succeed academically. Our second case study explores the use of AI in analyzing sentiment across social media platforms. In their research, Pang and Lee 2008 aimed to determine the overall sentiment of users' opinions on various topics by analyzing te text data from social media posts. The research question focused on whether natural language processing, NLP, and sentiment analysis techniques could accurately gauge public sentiment on these topics. To address this question, the researchers utilized NLP algorithms to process and analyze the text data from social media posts. They then employed sentiment analysis techniques to classify the opinions expressed in these posts as positive, negative, or neutral. The results demonstrated that AI techniques were effective in identifying the overall sentiment of social media users on various topics. These findings have significant implications for business, for businesses, policymakers, and researchers as they can use AI to better understand public opinion and make more informed decisions based on this data. Our third case study investigates the application of AI in optimizing urban traffic flow. The researchers created, quote, bidirectional recurrent neural network BRNNs using gated recurrent units, GRUs to extract and classify traffic into congested and non-congested, end quote. The research question focused on the effectiveness of deep learning techniques in optimizing traffic congestion. This research used, oh, so this is straight from the article, but this research, this research uses a bi-directional recurrent neural network to simulate and forecast traffic congestion in smart cities, also referred to as BRNNs. Also, quote, 
This research suggests a data-driven approach employing BRNNs for traffic management in smart cities, which uses real-time data from sensors and linked devices to control traffic more efficiently, end quote. The results of this project would potentially reveal that AI techniques significantly improve traffic flow and test scenarios, reducing, I would say this, test scenarios and real-life scenarios, potentially, reducing wait times and congestion alike. These findings have crucial implications for urban planning and transportation systems, as the integration of AI could lead to more effective and environmentally friendly traffic management solutions. Lastly, quote, the proposed model achieved better measures than existing state-of-the-art methods. This research also explores an overview and analysis of several early initiatives that have shown promising results. Moreover, it explores two potential future research approaches in increasing the accuracy and efficiency, efficiency of large-scale motion predictions, end quote. The fourth case study we'll discuss involves the identification of fake news using AI techniques. Chu et al. 2017 conducted research to develop an automated system capable of detecting fake news articles by analyzing their content. The research question sought to determine the accuracy and efficiency of natural language processing and text classification techniques in identifying fake news. The researchers utilized natural language processing algorithms to extract features from the text data of news articles, such as the writing style and linguistic patterns. They then applied text classification techniques to categorize the articles as either genuine or fake based on these features. The results of this project demonstrated that AI techniques were effective in identifying fake news with high accuracy outperforming traditional manual fact-checking methods. These findings have significant implications for the ongoing battle against misinformation as automated AI systems could potentially aid in detecting and preventing the spread of fake news on various social media paths. Uh, or, or actually, I would like to correct that. I would say it would aid in detecting and preventing the spread of fake news on various social media platforms and traditional media platforms alike. In our fifth case study, we'll examine how AI has been applied in the field of medical imaging for disease diagnoses. Esteva et al. 2017 conducted research to develop an AI, assist an AI assisted system capable of diagnosing various skin diseases, including skin cancer, using medical imaging data. The research question aimed to assess the accuracy and efficiency of deep learning techniques, specifically convolutional neural network CNNs, in diagnosing skin disease for medical images. The researchers use CNNs to process and analyze medical images, training the networks to recognize patterns and features indicative of specific diseases. Additionally, they employ transfer learning techniques to improve the efficiency and accuracy of AI systems by leveraging pre-trained models. The results of this project showed that AI-assisted systems could accurately diagnose skin diseases for medical images, achieving a level of performance comparable to experienced dermatologists. These findings have important implications for healthcare as they suggest that AI could potentially be used to enhance diagnostic capabilities, reduce errors, and improve patient outcomes altogether. Our sixth and final case study explores the use of AI in creating recommender systems for personalized learning experiences. And here I do want to take a, a quick break before going further and point out that Risi, and again, I apologize about the names, but um, Risi, Rokosh, and Japira are actually all the editors. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more, a little bit, um, I'll, I'll delve into this a little bit later, but now let's talk about what, we, let's talk about um, what we could pull from the multiple chapters and authors and studies and everything that is within this handbook that they edited. Pulling from all of that, it looks like there has been research conducted to develop AI-based systems that could recommend personalized learning resources and activities to students based on their individual preferences and learning needs. 
the research question would focus on various aspects of and effectiveness of AI techniques, such as collaborative filtering, content and content-based filtering, and creating personalized learning recommendations. To achieve this, one of the things that the handbook covers is employing collaborative filtering, is covering, covers, sorry about that, let me start that sentence over. So to achieve this, one of the things the handbook covers is collaborative filtering techniques, which is recommended for learning resources based on preferences of similar students. So by looking at that, that's kind of what the collaborative filtering techniques is. And along with that, there's also content-based filtering methods to recommend resources that match students' individual learning preferences and needs. Additionally, it looks like there has been a sense of experimentation with hybrid approaches that combine both techniques to improve recommendation accuracy. And if you do look at this handbook, you'll have to look through multiple chapters to understand exactly what I, what I, what I am discussing. But with that being said, let's talk about the results. The results is that there was a demonstration that AI-assisted recommender systems could effectively produce or provide personalized learning recommendations to enhance student learning, engagement, and learning outcomes. The findings have significant implications for, future, for the field of education and the future of the field in, well, in education, as they suggest that AI could be used to create more tailored and adaptive learning experiences for students catering to their unique needs and preferences. Okay, so with all of that, the last thing I would like to share about what I'm calling case study number six, but you'll find a lot more if you delve into this resource is this. And this is straight from one of the things that one of the publishers, Springer, provided covering their text. And I say, and I'll, I'll go ahead and read that now, quote, this multi this multidisciplinary handbook involves worldwide experts from diverse fields such as artificial intelligence, human-computer interaction, information retrieval, data mining, mathematics, statistics, adaptive user interfaces, decision support systems, psychology, marketing, and consumer behavior. Theor uh, theoreticians and practitioners from these, from these fields will find this reference to be an invaluable source of ideas, methods, and techniques for developing more effective, cost-effective, and accurate recommender systems." End quote. As we reflect on the case studies presented, several common themes and lessons learned can be observed. According to, and again, sorry about the names, Hasty, Tipsharani, and Friedman, 2009, Having clear research questions and objectives is crucial to the success of any AI-assisted research project. This clarity allows researchers to choose the most appropriate AI techniques to address the specific research question at hand. Furthermore, many of the successful projects we've discussed involved collaboration and interdisciplinary approaches, which highlights the importance of combining expertise from different fields to create innovative solutions using AI. Finally, ethical considerations play a vital role in AI-assisted research projects. As noted by, and I apologize about the name, Middle Stadat, 20, et al, 2016, it is essential for researchers to address potential ethical issues, such as data privacy, fairness, and transparency when implementing AI techniques in their work. Despite the many successes of AI-assisted research projects, there are also challenges and limitations that researchers must be aware of. Bostrom and, I apologize about the name, Yudkowsky, 2014, highlight several key challenges, such as data availability and quality, which can significantly impact the effectiveness of AI techniques. In many cases, researchers must invest time and resources into collecting and preparing high quality data for their projects. Another challenge involves balancing the accuracy and interpret 
Inter, uh, sorry, <laughs> I apologize about this. I, I feel like the names are really mixing me up. Another challenge involves balancing the accuracy and interpretability of AI models. While complex models may achieve high accuracy, they can be difficult to interpret and explain, which can limit their practical applications and acceptance by stakeholders and anyone who wants to use them. Additionally, Time and resource constraints can pose challenges in conducting AI-assisted research projects, as the development and implementation of AI techniques often require specialized skills and expertise. Lastly, ethical considerations must be addressed when using AI in research. Crawford and, apologize about the name, Kahlo 2016, or Kalo 2016, emphasize the importance of considering issues such as algorithmic bias, privacy, and transparency to ensure AI techniques are applied responsibly and ethically. As we look to the future, there are numerous opportunities and trends emerging in the realm of AI-assisted research. According to Nung, to, and I apologize about the name, Nung, uh, 2018, the applications of AI will continue to expand across various disciplines as researchers find new ways to leverage the power of AI to address complex problems and uncover, and uncover novel insights. Interdisciplinary collaboration will likely play an even more significant role in the future of AI-assisted research as experts from different fields come together to develop innovative, innovative solutions using AI techniques. Additionally, we can expect advancements in AI techniques and algorithms to enhance the capabilities of AI systems, enabling researchers to tackle increasingly complex research questions and challenges. Lastly, there will likely be an increasing focus on ethical AI research and practices, as highlighted by, and I apologize about the names, Jobin, Lanka, and Fayena, 2019. As the adoption of AI and research projects continues to grow, it will become increasingly important for researchers to ensure that they are using AI techniques responsibly and ethically, addressing potential issues related to data, privacy, fairness, and transparency. In conclusion, AI has become an essential tool in modern academic research, offering powerful capabilities that can help researchers address complex problems, uncover new insights, and ultimately drive innovation across various disciplines. By learning from successful case studies, oh, or, or this is actually, I feel like I'm speaking to you, but by learning from the successful case studies we've discussed today, we can gain valuable insights into how AI can be applied effectively in various research contexts. This understanding can help researchers overcome the challenges associated with AI-assisted research projects and embrace the future opportunities and trends in this rapidly evolving field. As we continue to witness the growth and impact of AI in academic research, it is essential for researchers to stay informed about the latest advan advancements in AI techniques and to collaborate across disciplines, ensuring that the potential of AI is harnessed responsibly, ethically, and to its fullest extent. As, as we all continue to explore the world of AI-assisted research, I recommend using the following resources to deepen your understanding and expand your knowledge of AI techniques and their application in various research contexts. The first one is called Artificial Intelligence, a Modern Approach by Stuart Russell and Peter Norvig, which is a comprehensive textbook that covers a wide range of AI techniques and their applications, providing a solid foundation for understanding AI and research. The second one, is Deep Learning by Ian Goodfellow, Yashua Bengio, and Aaron Corville, which is an essential resource for anyone interested in learning more about the cutting edge techniques and algorithms used in deep learning research. The third one that I want to bring up is Deep Learning by Yan Le Sun and Yashua Yoshua Bengio and Geoffrey Hinton, published in Nature. And, I, and again, I apologize to the utmost extent for mispronunciations. But this last one is an influential re re sorry, even with that being said, it's like I do, I do um, want to be so conscious about what I'm doing. But let's talk about that third one, that last one. It is published in Nature, and that is an influential review article that provides an overview, uh, overview of the field of deep learning 
its applications, and its potential impact on various domains, including research. So with all of that being said, thank you for joining me today as we explored the case studies of successful AI-assisted research projects conducted by university students. I hope that you found these examples both inspiring and informative, and that they have provided valuable insights into the potential applications of AI in academic research. And of course, this presentation would not be complete without giving you all of the resources that were used to create it, which I'm going to go. So this is what we're going. This is what's going to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off screen just for a bit, and I'm gonna let this continue to play for a few seconds in case you wish to obtain the information, write it down, take a screenshot, or do anything or do anything else. So with that being said. Thanks again for being with me on this journey and goodbye.